Today's message is called Power to Choose. Let's go. Okay, so today's message is called Power to Choose. Now, I introduced the concept a little bit yesterday, but I wanted to give you the three points that you really need to do and instill in your life if you really want to walk through it where you have a choice. Now, I didn't always think that I had a choice. I want to be honest with you. I grew up in an era where your parents said, do as I say, not as I do. I grew up at a time where when teachers said stuff to you that you believed it, when there were people in authority that said that you do this and you do that. I, I lived in a way that I wasn't, I want to say like, not necessarily that I wanted to follow rules, but I was raised in a way where I just didn't blatantly disrespect them. And so the concept of power to choose was something that was so foreign to me because I felt like if I chose what I really wanted, whether it was the words that I say or the way that I approach something, I almost felt guilty. And this idea of feeling like you needed to do like a call response, meaning that this happens and that happens, it actually started to seep into what I would say is my career. And in the beginning with my career, that's how I chose jobs. I chose them based on, you know, you graduate from college, you went to college for X. Now, I was a little rebellious, if I had to be honest. So after I graduated from engineering school, I did enroll into hair school. And so I really did make this declaration that I said, you know what? I'm never going to work in corporate America. However, being broke in hair school, when the opportunity presented itself for me to get my first engineering job, I just want to let you know, I was in the restroom of the hair school crying and thanking Jesus for the opportunity. However, what I realized is that even though I had the best of both worlds for a while, when it came down to make a decision about my career, I mean the first major decision, whether I kept pursuing the thing where I had a hair salon at night and I did engineering by day, I went with the safe route. I didn't feel like I really had the power to choose entrepreneurship. And so I shut down my shop and I pursued my engineering degree in my, not my, so I pursued my engineering career and I just went forward. And while I was there, I still didn't think that I had the power to choose. I felt like whatever options were on the table were the only options that I had. I just didn't even understand that I had any choices. And so when time came to a point where I was so frustrated with the options that were on the table, I actually quit that job. I quit it in 2002 at 5.30 in the morning on October 15th. I don't think I could be more specific. So I walked out of that job with no ideas other than I was gonna start a business. And even with that, I went into business and the reason I feel like it wasn't successful that time is because I still didn't feel like I had the power to choose. I thought that anybody that would pay me for a service or a product, I should be grateful for it. And I am grateful for all the people who paid for my services. But what about the ones who didn't? And I still felt that I needed to be excited just to help them for free. No, I'm not saying that we don't help people for free. However, I felt like a victim to my circumstances. And so then what did I do next? I went back to school to re-engineer myself. And I said, I don't want to do engineering. I want to go into the HR part of the world. And so I did it. I went to graduate school, racked up additional debt, only to finish when I finished school. I was just like, okay, now what? I still didn't feel like I had the power to choose anything. I felt like the first opportunity that came my way, I needed to take it because I didn't have a lot of experience in this new world that I wanted to go into, which was HR and speaking for a living, also known as corporate training. So then, like I said, even when I was in school, I read this book and it said, you know, write down what you want to do for a living. And I said, I want to speak for a living. But that was pretty much it in my area of where I thought I had choices. So when I went back into corporate America with the walk of shame, giving up my dreams of being an entrepreneur, so I thought I walked in there, but I went in with a different attitude. And let me tell you why. This was the first time that I felt empowered to choose. And the reason why is because I said, I ain't staying here long. That was my plan. I was like, I'm not staying here long. So I might as well just like go all out. And let me just tell you, shifting from being a victim to a victor, I just started declaring and thinking things were different. But after having that experience, I really wanted to say like, what changed in me? Like, what was it that was like that aha moment that shifted for me? And you know what I started to realize, at least in that job, 
It was the first time that I said, I, there's nothing that this employer can do to me that is a bad situation. So I might as well walk through this thing like I feel like I have the power to choose. But let me help you understand what are those three things that I do often when I feel like I'm trapped in a corner and I don't have a choice because I really have instilled and it is a lifestyle that I have this thing on power to choose. And the first thing is whenever you feel like you're stuck and trapped, I would tell you to ask yourself to reflect on like what's really going on here? Like what is happening in this moment? Why do I feel stuck and why do I feel trapped? And when you start to reflect on that, then the next thing you want to do is you want to remind yourself when you felt like you had the power to choose, you want to remind yourself of how that felt and what kind of attributes and behavior do you need to have in order to really act like what you remind yourself of at that time. And so for me, because I love Jesus, one of the things I remind myself of is that, you know what, God he knew me before I was even formed in my mother's womb. God, he knew me and he said that I'm made in the image of God. Therefore, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. And that's how I started to believe that thing. And even when I didn't have the confidence in myself, I reminded myself that you know what, Latasha, in your weakness, he is made strong. So you can't really fail even if they fire you. So not, why not walk through corporate America like you have the choice? Now, there are some ore nuggets that go along with this power to choose and how it helped me to really do well in corporate America, because the more I felt empowered, the more opportunities and doors opened up for me. And then the third step is what? The third step for me is when you feel like you're trapped and you've already reflected and you've reminded yourself of who you are, then you need to do this thing that the GPS system does all the time. What does it say? It says, rerouting, rerouting, rerouting. And that's what I do. Like I never really see myself as a victim anymore. I always think, you know what, in this situation, I really have the power to choose something different than what the world is saying. And that has helped me out tremendously. I need to tell you that even tomorrow when I talk about the power of pivoting, in the midst of a pandemic, this idea of understanding I have the power to choose is something that is such a part of who I am that it truly does allow me to say that this is the day that the Lord has made and I will rejoice and be glad in it. Now, I know I've said some pretty deep things and you might be saying to yourself, you know what, Latasha, you have said some things. And so I want to take a time right now and I want to summarize those thoughts for you about, again, how I got to the place of power to choose. So the first thing is you need to reflect on the situation that you're in. When you say you don't like it or maybe you love it, but you still don't like all the situations, you need to reflect. The next thing you need to do is remind yourself whose you are and what you are to do. And then the third piece is rerouting, rerouting. And so as you think about these three hours, I want to do what I love to do. And that is I found a special song for today. Now, again, I'm a little more hyped up than yesterday. Yesterday, we had the sound of jazz. Well, today, we're going to go with the power of love as our song. Now, this is royalty free music. But I want you to literally think about the words that I said as you hear this music and it puts you hopefully into a place of like joy and peace. So here we go. <laughs> Uh-oh, 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 pump it up, pump it up, yeah, 